What's going on everyone? It's RGB here again. Hope you are having a great day today. So in today's video, we're taking a look at the new GameHub Emulator Lite version. This is a tweaked version focused more on low to budget devices. It's a complete rebuild of the original GameHub Emulator, redesigned to be lighter, faster, and fully support offline. And let's go to the releases section. And there we go, the GameHub Lite official version. It's actually sized less than the bigger version. Here we have various versions. If you are having any issues or errors with GameHub Lite, you can try the normal fixed or and 2.2 version. It mostly works well on all devices. So here I'm installing the normal fixed version. All right, now here we are. You can see the new icon of the Lite version and the regular version. And also for this test, I'm using the Moto G45, which is a low-end budget device powered by the Snapdragon 6S Gen 3 with the Adreno 619 GPU. And this phone also comes with 8 gigs of RAM. So anyways, I'll close everything and let's get started. Now let's open the emulator. All right, so as you can see, this new animation in the start screen with Cyberpunk 2077 video, GameHub Lite right here, it's pretty amazing. No sign-in is required at all. It just went straight up to the main screen. All right, so as you can see, it completely looks simple and clean now. They have removed a lot of stuff inside, like if we compare it to the regular version. Here we only have Steam and offline PC games options, where you can import games to play offline. And if we go to settings, everything will be the same. The current firmware version, compatibility layer versions, Box64 FX translators, GPU drivers. Here they also added new 8 Elite Gen 5 driver and 8 Elite and Turnip drivers. Everything is the same as usual, the DXVK and Vulkan drivers. So anyways, let's import PC games, which I already copied files from my PC. As usual, go to the path where you copied games and import the main executable game file. Here everything will be the same, the required drivers will be downloaded based on games. And this is completely the offline version. All right, it's done. Now, same as usual, let's go to the PC game settings. Set screen resolution to the lowest if you are using a low-end device. Enable Mango HUD meter if you want FPS readings. Now go to compatibility. Here I'll leave everything to default. The Proton layer is set. Also, set translation params to extreme for better performance. GPU drivers are set. Everything will be the same like we did on the regular version. Now let's boot this game. Here I'll also set this phone performance mode to turbo mode for the max boost. And also, inside menu it's still the same, no changes. In performance, set native rendering to auto mode. And that's it. Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. And as you guys can see, we are getting better performance compared to recent versions, which I tested. And it's more stable right now. Also, I'll soon test this on a Mali GPU device. So stay tuned, and please do subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any updates. I was a young man then. The Seven Years War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would choose to bear. Now let's try with another game, the Grand Theft Auto 4. Everything is set to default driver settings. And there we go.
police car. Can you believe this shit? And that's all for this video, guys. As you can see, the new GameHub emulator Lite version runs great even on this budget devices, and it's definitely more optimized and stable than the previous builds. I'll soon continue testing more titles and also do test on Mali GPU devices as well very soon. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.